more and more Americans are being lured by the call of the open road. What? <laughs> kicking traditional houses to the curb to call the highway home. That is cool. It's the ultimate American experience for any lifestyle. Wow. And budget. Oh, yeah. Nice. With so many amazing options out there. Wow, this is cool. It won't be easy for this family. He's the gadget person. Reminds me of a bachelor party limousine. Should be a stripper pole in here. <laughs> to find their very own home sweet home. I just don't know where the kids would sit. On the floor. <laughs> on the road. Let's go early. Oh. <laughs> I'm Lisa Green. And I'm Michael Green. We have two boys. Cannon is 12 and Lennon is 9. Good girl, Pinchita. They're full of energy. They love to play with the dogs. <laughs> they love their video games. Normal little boys. Great. We've been living in Dallas for 13 years, and we're ready for something different. My turn. I want to have a simpler life. I want to spend more time with my family and see the world and really enjoy life with them. You know how to get more air? Step on this thing before you jump. I'm the CEO of Home Operations, AKA Stay at Home Mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I, I'm a remote employee, so I can work anywhere, anytime. I homeschool the kids, and I can do that from anywhere. It's flying away some dragonfly. Look at it. It's like, ooh. Ooh, it's cool. This way. Using me as a human shield. I'm using me as a human shield. Oh, and like the bumblebee. What's that bumblebee doing? Pollinating. Pollinating, good. So we've decided to sell it all and buy an RV and hit the road. I think it'll be a great opportunity for the kids to see all the great sights of this country and, you know, get it firsthand. We're going for it because why not? This is our only life and Let's do it. Let's see the world. <laughs> so the Greens are headed to America Choice RV to try to find their perfect home on the road. You ready for this? Yep. OK, there we, there we go. I know I don't want to get the drivable RVs, the Class A's or the Class T's, because I don't want to feel like I'm living on a bus. It's big. I want to feel like I'm at home. It's a lot of storage. It is. It's big. The only must for me would be two rooms with doors that we can have our private space and the kids can have their private space as well. We want to have a space where we can all gather in the same room and watch TV and hang out, so a bigger couch is good. You know, if we get a toy hauler, that means we need to get motorcycles. <laughs> Funny. The Greens also want a unit with an outdoor kitchen and lots of counter space. And it should be lightweight, so they don't have to buy a huge truck to haul it. Hey, how we doing today? It's time for this family to turn their dreams into reality. We're thinking about going full time with this. So we want to live in this. We want to take our kids on the road. I really want it to be kind of nice. I don't want to live in an ugly box. I want it to be, you know, kind of homey. What price range do you guys want to be in? Maybe like 65. OK, follow me. What we have here is a fifth wheel. MSRP is probably around 60,000. OK. You will definitely need a diesel truck to pull this. Doesn't have to be a dually, could be a single wheel. Just has to be diesel due to its weight. It's big. It's right. big. I think having a fifth wheel, I'm a little bit nervous about just because they're so big and they're more expensive. Plus with the fifth wheel, I think we'd have to get a really big truck and I'm a little bit scared to drive a really big truck. <laughs> I like the color. Yeah, I do too. Okay, you like the color? I do, yeah. Pretty big storage with magnets up top so the door won't come down, hit you in the head. Big. big. Excellent. Cool. What we have here, it's our beautiful outside kitchen. Ooh, wow. I really like the outdoor kitchen. I think that's really cool. And you also have great storage up here. That I'm not going to be able to reach. Hey, can always give you a boost. <laughs> this is a little bit maybe not as functional, but I, but I really do think we should. A little tall for you? Yeah, a little But bit. now is this a must-have for you? I think so. OK. Has to have a beer fridge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Must have to be a fridge. <laughs> yeah, that's a deal breaker. <laughs> OK, so I have one more feature to show you guys. It's an automatic awning. You also have an awesome LED yeah. strip right I underneath like it. it. That's cool. Nighttime hanging out. We're ready to go camping. All right. Wow, I like it. Come on in. Wow. Wow. Look at those lights. Check those out. Kind of like a spaceship. Reminds me of a bachelor party limousine. Should be a stripper pole in here. <laughs> I'm not sure I love this. There's not a lot of place for everybody to sit. I just don't know where the kids would sit. On the floor? Yeah. Actually, what'll happen is they'll be sitting here, and we'll be sitting on the floor. <laughs> Look how big the fridge is. That's huge. 
solid countertops. Okay. That's kind of nice. Also, if you notice, there's a little hole in the counter there. That's yeah, so you can throw your trash. Oh, that's where that's we put cool. the kids when they're bad. <laughs> <laughs> it looks nice. It just seems kind of cramped, it's kind of small. There's not a lot of counter space no. at all. I kind of wish there was maybe an island or just more space for the countertop. There's a place for dining. Mm, kind of tight over here. It's a little tight. It's a yeah. little tight? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. The table's not super important. It's more important for us to have a place for all of us to sit and be social. Yeah, it seems kind of choppy with the living room here and the dinette here. So you're looking for some a little more spaces in this. Yeah, or maybe a bigger couch. I understand. Well, there's still plenty of stuff to show you in here. One of the things I want to show you, it's our second bedroom. Wow, this is cool. Wow. It's big. It is big. Closets for nice. each kid. Space for the television. Wow. And this folds out into Great a bed? Storage. Absolutely. I can go ahead and lift the bunk up also. We have four bunks back here. I like this. Bathroom. Take a look. Take a look. Oh, cool. This is awesome. I don't know if I like them having a door to the outside, but I like them having a bathroom. Just, just think of it as if you're outside camping, you're in the outside kitchen. They don't have to trample through the RV full of sand or anything like that. They can just use the bathroom there and go right back yeah, out. He knows handy. we're going to be at the beach all the time. Yes. So that's cool. all right. <laughs> Why don't we go take a look at the master bathroom and bedroom? OK. okay. That's a pretty good sized bathroom. It is a good sized bathroom. Big shower, another porcelain toilet, I like that. Pocket door. Correct, it's a Jack and Jill bathroom. This is gotcha. big. I like this bedroom. You have a beautiful king size bed. Wow. All right, now let me get right by you and show you this over here. This is where your washer and dryer would washer go. Washer and dryer. Cool, I was hoping to get a washer and dryer. <laughs> also, you have a great window here. Oh, wow. That is nice. I like this. I think it's very spacious. I love the big window. I like it really bright. So mm -hmm. I think that's really cool. I love the washer and dryer. I like the king size bed. Gives us plenty of space. Might want to swap out the mattress. If we're going full time, we might as well throw in the mattress from our house. I like it. This unit has a lot of great features for the greens. It's got a spacious bunkhouse, two bathrooms, a big master with a king bed, and a washer dryer hookup. But the size of the unit is intimidating. The outdoor kitchen cabinets are too high for Lisa to reach. The counter space is a bit lacking and there's an exterior door in the kids' bathroom. I wanna show you guys something. All right. There you go. Okay, look at this, mini muffins. We'll be going to the grocery store a couple times a week. <laughs> RV wastewater is often called black water, flush water, or gray water. RV wastewater is referred to as black water and gray water. Black water drains from the toilets. Gray water comes from the sinks and the shower. The Green family is looking to go full time on the road. Will the next RV match their wish list? What we have here is a North Trail. At MSRP is around 36,000. Difference is going to be the fact that this is a pool behind. So you might not need as heavy a truck as you would with the fifth wheel we looked at. Excellent, I like it. I think the price is great. It's well below our budget. And considering that this is new to us, it may be a better choice for us to consider something below our budget. The outside compartment. It's actually a lot smaller a bit than smaller. the fifth wheel. Also, we have a adjustable awning. Okay. So it gets full with water. Water will dump itself out. All okay, right. excellent. It's nice. Right here, you're going to have your beautiful outside kitchen. Oh, wow. Look at okay. this. I don't have to give you a boost to get up there on this no, one. No, this is All right. nice. I like this kitchen a lot. This is cool. It's better than the last one? Yeah. All right. All right. Just making sure. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the All inside? Right. OK. Wow. This is nice. Yeah. It is nice. Yeah. I like the colors. It's homey. It is homey. I like the couch. If it was bigger. It needs to be bigger. We can't have the kids. No, it is. All four it of us on small. this couch would be awkward. Yes. <laughs>
Does if, it pull out into a bed? Yes, it does. It does make a bed, so you're able to sleep at least two adults there. I would love to have more of a big area for us to sit. More couch, less more yeah. dinette. Yeah. In this unit, they kind of make the roof like a crown. A lot of people always ask, well, can I walk on the roof? It's going to be strong enough. And it absolutely is, wow. okay? They test it at zero temperatures to make sure you can be in cold weather. For example, your underbelly is covered, heated, that sort of thing. Oh, excellent. Nice. If, we, if we want to go skiing with the kids yeah, or something, yeah. absolutely. we don't have to worry about freezing. Well, let's look at this kitchen. Okay. I'm a little concerned about counter space. Typically, when you step into a smaller unit, you're going to lose some counter space. Ooh, that is tiny. Oh my gosh. Mini muffins. Yeah. Smaller fridge. Mm-hmm. Looks like uh, we'll be going to the grocery store a couple times a week. <laughs> this is going to be your dining. This is a horseshoe dining. So to allow the four of you to sit here and eat a little bit more comfortable. I know you didn't like the table over there because it was smaller. I like this a little bit better. Okay. You guys want to take a look at the bathroom? Sure. Look at this. I don't think I will quite fit in that tub for a bath, but it's a little bit bigger but than the bigger. last one. it's bigger. It's yeah. nice. A lot of counter space here. The shelf is kind of cool. Good storage. Great for towels. Mm -hmm. Things like that. This is nice. So this will be the bunk room. It's cute. I like it. There's an entertainment center out this over is, here for the kids. This is very cool. And just like in the other model we were in, the bunk actually lifts up and allows you to have a couch. Okay. You guys want to take a look at the master bedroom? Yeah. Right this way. Oh, this is kind of small. It's very small. I want to show you guys something. Okay. Close that door for me. That that's, is cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, so you can watch in the bedroom or in the living room. Nice. What do you guys think about the pocket doors? I prefer a real door. Yeah. Just seems kind of not very separated. I think the bedroom is small, but you know what? That's okay. I plan to spend more time out here with the family and outside with the kids. At 36000 this travel trailer is way under their $65,000 budget. Lisa loves the homey feeling and the fact that she can reach the outdoor kitchen cabinets. It's also got a good-sized bathroom with storage space. But again, the couch is too small. There are pocket doors on the master. There's limited counter space. And the master bedroom feels cramped. I have one more unit to show you guys. It's okay. It's good size. It's almost like the last one. What is that? That's unique. Which state makes more than 60% of American-made RVs? Indiana, Michigan, or Ohio? Which state makes more than 60% of American-made RVs? Indiana. With more than 15 RV manufacturers, Elkhart, Indiana produces over 60% of American RVs on the road today. The Greens are looking for an RV under $65,000 to live in year-round. What we have here today is a Salem Hemisphere Light. MSRP is around 44000 I am not fond of gold in the blue. No. It's not my favorite. I mean, it's okay. It's not, it's not my favorite. Storage. All the way through. So it's a pass through. It's okay. Good size. I know you guys wanted to have some kind of outside entertainment, that sort of thing. Oh, wow. Wow, All right. that's nice. I Another like beer fridge. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. I like the look of it aesthetically. Plenty of space. It looks nice. Yeah, this is really nice. I like the little brick look. But before we go inside, I want to show you. It's an awesome grill. Oh, okay, nice. cool. I want to take a look at this yeah, real quick. Yeah, open it up. All right. I think the grill is nice, but back home, I've got a lot more real estate. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but hey, I've got a compromise. Let's take a look inside. Okay. okay. I love the floor. The floor is awesome. Yeah, it's really pretty. Love the floor. A little bit more counter space. It is better, it is better. I'm not crazy about the light colors. Yeah, I do like the dark leather better. I think it's more durable for the kids. Okay. You want to try the couch? 
It's a little stiff. Yeah. Similar to the other one. It's got the small couch, mm -hmm. the dinette. What do you think about the kitchen? I think it's pretty. You notice you have a range cover right here to give you a little bit more counter space. I, glass, I like it. glass. Probably harder to keep clean though. You don't look like you do much of the cleaning. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't. What? No. <laughs> oh. Looks like oh, a little bit of a pantry. More, yeah. It looks over like, here. Wow. That's nice. It's like a real pantry. Some drawer Some space. Drawers. Quite a bit of storage. More storage in this one than, than yeah, what we saw. Is... So this coach has a tablet system. It allows you to open and close your slides, open and close your awning. That's unique. Yes, he's the gadget person. So. Well, we can load games for the kids. <laughs> Let's move over to the table. <sighs> it's comfortable. I do like this better than the ones before. Of course, this turns into a bed. Lift up, remove the poles, bring it down, and you have a bed. Excellent. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Okay. Oh, and it's got a door in here. Oh, I like that better than being in the kids' room. I don't like the countertop. The skylight's awesome. Check out the wow, skylight. Wow, this is really cool. It brings a lot of natural light in here. Looks like a good size. Take a look in the back bedroom. It's almost like the last one. The bunk does come down. Right. It's got the same little entertainment center and more closet storage. For them. Yeah, little closet. This is a cool little space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And oh. it's got your door. Got the door. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the master bedroom. Okay. Looks similar to the last one. Mm -hmm. Just like in the other trailer, this TV is going to swivel. I like this one a little bit better. It's a little bit higher up, and I like it being a little bit higher. I like that. What is that? That's a laundry chute. Oh, where does it go? It goes to the outside to the, compartment. To, to the to, washing machine that's down there. Does it go to the washing machine? <laughs> no, it does not go to the washing machine. I'm all excited. <laughs> but you can put the basket right out there. All your clothes will go there, so your laundry won't be sitting in here. Okay. If it looks a little different to you, it's because you have a closet that's a little bit longer than the other one, mm -hmm. and on that side, it's shorter. That is your closet. <laughs> I think every house we've moved into, dear, I've gotten a smaller closet, so <laughs> it's a given. This rig has made the Green's decision even harder. It's got more counter space than the other two units, an actual door to the bunkhouse, a tablet that controls the slides, and a convenient laundry chute. But the Green's don't like the light leather furniture or the exterior colors, and Michael's closet is tiny. Not to mention, the couch is still too small. Well, guys, it's decision time. The Greens have a tough choice on their hands. Which RV will be this family's first home on the road? What do you guys think? Well... Which one of these is another name for a fifth wheel RV? A 5Z? A Fiver? Or a Nickel RV? Which one of these is another name for a fifth wheel RV? A fiver is a common slang word for a fifth wheel. An RV that connects via a hitch in the truck bed instead of on the bumper. It's time for the Greens to choose their fate. Which unit will they end up with? Well guys, it's decision time. This fifth wheel costs $60,000. It has two bathrooms. But Lisa doesn't love that the kids' bathroom door leads to the outside. I like the space. I like the storage. But it's pretty big. It's really big. We've never really pulled an RV before, so... I'm know, a little scared. That's... I think the outdoor kitchen wasn't very functional for me. It was yeah. too tall. This travel trailer is $29,000 under the Green's budget. Lisa can actually reach the outdoor kitchen cabinets. But the master bedroom is tight. And it has pocket doors. I like the dark couch and how everything looked inside. And the fact that it's a travel trailer makes me a little more comfortable about pulling it. We wouldn't you know, need as big a truck. truck. That's right. I didn't like the living space. There's just not enough living space. It seems kind of cramped. Coming in at $44,000, this travel trailer's got a cool tablet that controls the features, more counter space, and a laundry chute. But it has a small closet for Michael. I thought it was beautiful on the inside. 
And didn't not like the, so much on the outside. No, I didn't like the colors on the outside. The outdoor kitchen was beautiful. Yeah, that was nice. It was awesome. Yeah. The color of the couch was a little yeah. light. I, I prefer the darker. And again, it's not enough space for us to sit as a family. Which RV will they choose? I really like the North Trail. I really like the North Trail as well. But there's some pieces that are not quite working for us. The good news is I have a perfect floor plan for you that's also a North Trail, okay? That looks nice. You're gonna have your island where you're seeing kids, a full couch, also a full door for your bedroom. I know you really wanted that. Mm -hmm. It's that big couch you're talking yes. about. Darker furniture. Uh -huh. I like the you island. I love the couch. What do you think? I love it. You want to do it? Yeah. Let's do it. Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> yep. We chose the Heartland North Trail, and we love it. We got the floor plan we were looking for with the large couch, no dinette, had the island for extra counter space. It gives us exactly what we're looking for to be together as a family. Well, let's watch a movie. We spent about 30000 on it, so it's way below our budget. It gives us plenty of money to just go all over. This is like the best movie. We love the price, we love the RV. I'm super excited to hit the road, and it's going to be a lot of fun. What's the capital of Minnesota? St. Paul. You guys are getting good at this. Our lifestyle might seem crazy to some, but this is our chance to do it, and we'd be foolish not to. This is the life. I'm really excited about what's in store for us, the new adventures. I'll drink to that. Not only for me, but for my wife and kids as well. This is going to be an incredible adventure.